In addition to talking about forms, we're also going to talk about something called tables in design. And tables were things that were used a lot before CSS to position things where you want them to be. Well, not exactly where you want them to be, but kind of in the neighborhood. Right church, maybe wrong pew. Well, uh, CSS is used now more because it allows greater flexibility. And it also allows something called fluid design. And we're going to talk more about fluid design later on in this class. Uh, tables are very rigid. When you put a table in, there basically is no redesigning unless you go in and do a full-fledged, complete redesign of that particular page. Now, I'm going to flip over to another tab. And you probably recognize this as the older design that we've had in the School of Journalism and Communication for many years. And the reason I'm doing this is because this page is put together through uh, through tables, whereas this particular design is more of a CSS. Although there is a table uh, in here, but the majority of this design is through CSS. But this one is completely through tables. Now, I do want to point out that we have this little right-hand uh, graphic that's over there. And we want to make sure that our text does not flow over that particular graphic. In fact, if I resize this window, we get to a point where suddenly the text stops. And it'll even, uh, you can see, it's, it's displaying that we have additional text that's uh, uh, not displaying. The text isn't going to go over the graphic because we're creating the, uh, this is a two column table. One column is over here, one column is here, and there's an, an invisible graphic in here that is blocking the, the table from contracting. Well that's a Photoshop kind of issue and this is something that we're going to create in Photoshop. So first thing we're going to do is start up Photoshop. 